Oxygen Fashion. Today I am styling the Steven Marcel and Zara collection um, collaboration. I bought four pieces from the collection. Stay tuned if you want to see how I style it. Stay tuned if you want to see what I think about it. And stay tuned if you want to see what I kept and what I returned. So let's get straight into the video. Right now I'm wearing the first fabulous piece. Oh my goodness. Look at this styling, just look. It's so fabulous. Let's get into how I style this. The first style I did was a dress down look with um, some Nike Vandal patent leather sneakers. And I felt like the patent leather kind of played off the shimmer and the shine of the jacket. So, and I just paired it with a hoodie dress. Uh, if you go to their website, you'll see they actually styled it with a black hoodie and some black, like, oversized, I guess they're sweatpants or baggy pants, and it's kind of like a street style dress down look, so that's actually kind of what made me keep it. So I'm like, oh, I can dress this down. I don't just have to wear this dress up. I, can, I don't just have to wear this to a, a holiday party, you know, so this piece, I almost returned this piece. Can you believe that? I almost returned this because I felt like, I'm like, where am I wearing this? Where am I going in this? Am I going to the grocery store in this? Maybe. Am I going to Target? Definitely. I'm definitely going to Target in this jacket. I'm going to put on a black sweatsuit, a black hoodie, and some black sweatpants, and I'm taking, I'm wearing this to Target. For sure. At first, I was on the fence because I was like, where am I going to wear this? How often am I gonna wear this? Like this is this jacket is two hundred dollars. Like I don't want I don't like to buy things and then not wear them and then it's like it's just sitting in your closet. I'm going to wear this. I'm gonna wear this to Dark Target. I'm gonna wear this to the grocery store. So I kind of played around with the styling. You're gonna see me style it, kind of dressed down and dressed up, and so you can see like how to get away with wearing this not just at a holiday party and not just at a New Year's Eve party. So the, I, the, I ended up keeping this piece. But it's, it's made like a denim jacket, but it's of course sequins, but it's the same like type of style, like with the, with the hardware, the button, and the, the pocket that's made like a denim jacket. And it's the same type of buttons like down the front and the collar. So it's basically a sequence denim jacket. I am also gonna show you this with a white denim skirt and a black and white stripe uh, bandeau top and some sneakers, some Adidas sneakers. Um, but there's some, I figured out so many different ways to wear this jacket, that's why I kept it. So yeah, definitely a keeper. The quality is top notch. Like. Honestly, I tried to find a dupe of this jacket, I'm not gonna lie. Cause I was like, $200? Can I find it somewhere else? The answer is no. No, I cannot. The quality, the sequence on this jacket is overlapped. You can see it, you can see it. it's just overlapped sequence. And all of the pieces that I found that were kind of dupes, you could see the sequence was like one here, one there. Like you could see the spacing. It wasn't overlapped the way this is. It wasn't as like elegant and luxurious as this. And I felt like I'm not gonna be able to find this. I, I cannot find this jacket anywhere else for $200. And to me, it was just worth the money. So I decided to keep it. So let me let me know below what you think, if I should have returned this or not. Um, let me know if you think this is fabulous or not, or is it too Liberace? That was another thing. I was like, do I look like Liberace? I feel like Liberace in this thing. Like, if I go to the grocery store and I'm gonna look like Liberace. But guess what? I don't care. This jacket is so nice. I don't care. The next piece that I got is the denim jacket. And it's kind of like, 
Um, first of all, let me just mention this. Everything in this collection seems to be oversized. I didn't realize that. This denim jacket, everything is oversized. And the problem that I have with this denim jacket, I bought it too big. I didn't realize, I, I liked, I wanted an oversized denim jacket, but I did not realize that it was already oversized. So I got it too big, the collection sold out, so I can't exchange it, so I just returned that piece. So if you're looking for a denim jacket, this denim jacket, it'll be back in stock in a minute, so. I always get lucky when I put my email in to their out of stock items. So if you guys want this denim jacket, go put your email in and you, you'll get a notification once they re-inventory my jacket. I just returned. I just returned it. It's not there yet. I'm posting this on Sunday. So probably in a couple days, it'll be back in stock if you want this jacket. Okay, so this piece, the denim jacket, what I love about it, since I could not keep it because it was just too big, I made it work, but I just yeah, I felt like I was drowning in it. It looks nice, but I felt it was it's so heavy. It's very good quality denim. It's so heavy. It just felt overwhelming. So I would like to get a smaller size. So what I'm going to do is recreate that jacket. I'm just gonna buy a denim jacket from somewhere else. And what they did is they put a button on the side seam so you can create that asymmetrical look. Cause that's that's what I really loved about it was that asymmetrical and the oversized look of that jacket. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just do my DIY and all you have to do is just get a button. If you can't, if you don't have the snap machine, just get a regular button and you're not gonna see the button because it's on the side. You just wanna be able to create that effect. So that's what I'm gonna do for that. Plus I, I honestly felt like that was a little bit overpriced for the new jacket, but it was definitely, the quality is definitely there. On all these pieces, the quality is definitely there. The next piece that I got was the leather shirt, jacket, jacket, whatever you wanna call it. You literally could wear this as a dress, as a shirt, as a jacket, like, it's very versatile. But I returned that piece because I already have something similar from Zara, but it has pockets on the front, um, and I barely wear that. So I'm like, I'm probably not gonna wear this. I'm not really a dress girl unless, I don't know. My first go-to is not a dress. My first go-to would be a skirt or, and a top because of my body type is just, I find it easier to like mix and match shirts and skirts rather than finding dresses. Dresses, I always have a hard time like make, finding the right fit. So I'm not really a dress girl, so I return that piece also. But if you are a dress girl, this dress, this jacket, jacket, shirt, dress is nice. Like it's so versatile. You will get your money's worth out of it. Definitely. So I paired it with some um, uh, just above, just below the knee boots. At first I had it on with the knee, over the knee boots, but I felt like that just was overwhelming because the, the shacket dress is already long and oversized. So I, I went with a boot that was cut under the knee and that was like perfect, 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 perfect. Um, yeah, it's so simple. All you have to do is just throw it on and put on your boots and that's it. Like, it's just such an easy piece of wear. If you're not a dress girl, you can turn it into a, a jacket and it's lightweight, so it's not gonna keep you warm. You do have to wear something warmer over it, but, um, or under it. And I paired it with, I live in Florida, so that would have been perfect for here, but um, I paired it with like a crop top and just some leather pants and some pumps. And to me, I, I felt like it looks very chic, very elegant, very simple. You can easily dress it up, down, very easy to wear. The last piece that I got, this was actually the piece that when I opened everything and unboxed everything, I knew instantly that I was keeping this. This faux fur jacket, to me, is just like worth every penny that I paid for it. I think this one was $400, like $399. This was definitely worth it. Like, I have another faux fur from Zara, and but it has a hoodie. And the quality, you can't, nobody knows it's faux. Nobody knows, nobody can tell. Zara's faux fur and faux leather, very high quality. You don't, with the faux leather, you don't get that feeling, you don't get, like it lasts. Like I still have pieces from years ago. They're not peeling, they're not cracking, they're, they're pieces on the floor, like it's very good quality. This piece is so timeless. 
even if you don't wear this year, eventually you're going to wear this coat. Like, it's very warm, very thick, very heavy, very good quality. You can style it up, you can style it down. In this video, I styled it with a denim skirt and some knee high, or some just above, below the knee boots, some burgundy boots and the burgundy top. And I felt like it just, I, even though I was wearing denim, I still felt like I looked dressed up um, just with the coat. So those are the pieces that I've got. I got those four pieces. Um, I kept the faux fur and I kept the sequin jacket and I had to return the denim jacket because it was too big and I returned the jacket because I felt like the leather jacket dress shirt because I felt like I already had something similar and I felt like I wasn't going to wear it so I returned that piece as well. Comment below what you think I should have kept, what I should have returned, what you liked best. Let me know also what you think of this new style of video. Uh, I know this is different. I'm revamping the channel so this is going to be my new style of doing videos. Um, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them below. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. Let me know what you think below about this new style of video. I have so many things that I'm ready to style. So stay tuned. The next up is cargo pants. It's cargo season, so get ready. And thank you for watching. Bye, guys.